Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at the Samsung Gear Sport and the Samsung Icon X 2017. Now as far as pricing and availability, I'll get back to y'all when I do the full review because these are pre-production units. So shout out to Samsung aka The Plug. Alright, so let's check these out. Now this is the box that they gave me and on a side note, Samsung, y'all need to make this the retail presentation. This looks so dope and so classy. I would gladly spend an extra couple of bucks for this. Here we go. Shout out to White Shoes back in the building. Okay, so let's start off with the Gear Sport. Now White Shoes can't wait to get in the box. Here we go. Alright, Gear Sport. Now let's go through the specs on this real quick. This one is available in two different color casings, blue or black. And as far as the bands, you got a hundred different ones to choose from. Now with the display, you got a 1.2 inch Super AMOLED display, that's the circular version, with a resolution of 360 by 360. Now this one features the rotating bezel and you have Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Now you got a dual core processor, that's one gigahertz, and it's running Tizen 3.0. You get four gigs of storage with 768 megabytes of RAM. You got a 300 milliamp battery, you got wireless charging, now it's water resistant to 5 ATMs, that's 50 meters, or if you live in America, that's 164 feet. Now that's fresh water or salt water, so this is beach approved. Now it's still uh, military 80, uh, 81, uh, what is it, 810G for uh, protection. You got Samsung Pay that works with NFC, you got your heart rate sensor and your GPS. Chill out, Zerks. <laughs> Alright, so let's check this out. Gear Sport. Nice looking presentation. Do I need a little unboxing knife? Why not? Where's the Huntsman at? Shout out to the Huntsman. Don't get scared, Zerks. Rah. One more. Rah. Here we go. Okay. Beautiful presentation. I like the all black everything. Of course, the usual books and shit. We'll pluck them, file them to the side. This is gonna be your, let's see, is this uh, USB? Nope, okay, this is uh, USB-A to micro USB charging cable. Here's your charging brick. And this is your wireless charger. Now I'll test this and see if it works on your Gear S3 also. And let's see, what is this? Okay, now this is an extra band. And here's your watch. Now let's open this up real quick. Fall back, sir. Here's your Gear Sport. Now for size comparison, let's grab the Gear S3. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the Gear S3. Let's see, for thickness, a little bit thinner, but you still got that rotating bezel. On one side, you got two buttons, nothing on the other side. Here's your heart rate monitor and all your sensors on the bottom. Sticker struggles on deck. All right, I'll do that later. Let's power this up though and see if we got any juice. Maybe if I hit the right power button. There it goes, Gear S, uh, Gear Sport. S Sport, <laughs> Gear Sport. Okay, now when you wanna charge this, all you gotta do is put it right in the dock. Just like that. All right, so let me pause the video real quick. I'll set up some of this information and uh, we'll go through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I got this paired up using the Samsung Gear app, so now let's check it out. And on a side note, if you like this watch face, it's called Secret Agent. Now it's gonna run you about two bucks, but this is definitely my favorite watch face. On one side, you got your battery percentage gauge. On the other side, you got your steps, and as you walk, this will light up even more. You got your time and date and seconds. All right, so as far as the build quality, nice and sturdy, definitely feels premium, nothing cheap. I like the rubber bands. And speaking of the bands, this is a 20 millimeter band. Now in the Gear S3, this one is 22 millimeters. So the Gear Sport is a little bit smaller. Now when you wanna swap the band, all you have to do is pull down on that little lever and swap it out. And like I said, they got mad bands to choose from. So let's go through some of the OS real quick. You got your rotating bezel. Now in my opinion, that's the best feature on any smartwatch. That's why the Gear S3 has been my favorite watch. And this is gonna be number two, the rotating bezel. With the two buttons and the rotating bezel, you rarely have to touch the screen, and that's gonna keep your screen from getting smudged up. Now, speaking of the buttons, this is your back button, and this is your menu button. 
So when you hit this, it's gonna bring up all of your apps. So let's go through all the apps real quick. These are the ones that's preloaded. You got your recently used apps, you got your phone, contacts, S Health, uh, Samsung Health, Galaxy apps, your music player, you can take it over to your settings, your reminder, S Voice, and next page. Tap on the screen, that'll take you to the next page. You got weather, calendar, alarm, world clock. Uh, you got your gallery, you can save your pictures directly to your watch. You got your flipboard briefing. Find my phone. Now this is one of the mostly uh, one of the my one of my most used apps. All you got to do is tap on that, hit start, and it'll ring your phone. All right, so now the phone is ringing. Find my phone. Now, on a side note, I got this paired up to an LG V30, so it doesn't have to be a Samsung phone as long as the phone is running Android. Now you can also pair this up to your iPhones too. Just got to download the Samsung Gear app. Let's hit back. Uh, you got your altimeter and your barometer, and you also got your PPT controller. Now, I'll go through that fully when I do the full review, but this is a dope feature. I've seen it in person today. It's crazy. Let's exit back out of this. Now, from the main screen, if you rotate to the left, now you're getting all your in uh, Instagram. This is Instagram, but you're getting all your notifications. So I got my YouTube, Instagram, Gmails, and they, they look beautiful. Let me show you. Matter of fact, let me see if there's something I can show you. All right, cool. A Gmail. You see, you got your G his Gmail icon, the person's name, and the message. Let's keep scrolling. I don't want to put anybody on blast. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Instagram, Instagram. Okay, we got Facebook. All right, we got a message from, uh, what's this, Google? Sandler, uh, greatest tech reviewer out there. Let me give a big salute to Sander. All right, shout out to Sander. And of course, I got a mixed call from Max Lee. All right, and you can clear all. Bong, so we'll just clear them all. All right, it takes a second to clear them all. All right, now let's, all right, so they all cleared. See, so you scroll over, no notifications. Now, let's scroll the other direction. You got your calories burned, your steps, how many floors you walked. That's what the altimeter comes into play. You got your heart rate monitor, exercise. You can start your workout from here. You got running, walking, cycling, and swimming. You got the weather. You got your music player controls, any events. You can create a reminder or you can add more widgets. Now, if I hit tap, here's some of the extra widgets you can add. Alarm, your altimeter barometer, app shortcuts, calendar, contacts, news briefing. You got your Samsung Health, the caffeine intake, your water intake and your challenges. Leaderboard, there's your water intake going too fast. Your weather and the world clock. Now, I like to add a nice calendar. So we'll do that real quick. Just tap that. And now I got a calendar. So now when I scroll over, I'm gonna have a calendar widget. And you can add a few more. All right, so just out of the fresh out of the box, I would say this is a major go right here. If the S3 is too big for you, now I've been getting this question all the time, especially from a lot of ladies, they find this watch to be a little bit too big. But you still wanna be down with the team Samsung. Get the Gear Sport, same rotating bezel. Oh, one thing, now there's one thing missing from this, there's a few things missing, and I'll go over that in the full review. But the major thing missing is a speaker. So no speaker. Now let me show you something real quick. Let's go to settings. Ah, uh, where was that? Let's go to uh, settings. Now when you take it to settings, you got your watch faces, vibration, device, display, connections, app settings, security, general manager, battery manager, about gear, and connect to a new gear. So you notice there's no sound settings. So no built-in speaker on this. So when you get your notifications, you're not gonna get an audible alert, and you're not gonna be able to use a speakerphone when you're talking on the phone. You're gonna have to pair this up to headphones. But it is what it is. You're gonna save some money on this one. I, I, I don't wanna say the price yet, because I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely gonna be cheaper than the Gear S3. So if you're looking for a smaller version of the S3, still with that rotating bezel, the Gear Sport is the way you wanna go. Now, let's take it over to the Icon X. All right, so here we go, Icon X second edition. Now these are available in three different colors. You got black, gray, and pink. Now shout out to Samsung, they've officially addressed my three biggest gripes that I had with the original Icon X, and let's talk about those real quick. Number one, now this was my biggest gripe, the battery. Now even though these were my favorite wireless headphones, the battery on this was just trash. Now, if you're streaming music from your phone to the headphones, you only got one and a half hours worth of battery. 
Now, I don't mean an hour and 47 minutes. I don't mean an hour and 53 minutes. Literally one and a half hours, and then your battery's dead. Now, my usual workout is about an hour and a half, but the problem was if I get to the gym and it's crowded, or I get into a conversation, or maybe I get caught up looking at some yoga pants, these would die before my workout is completed. So now with the new Icon X, you got a major upgrade in battery. So if you're streaming music, you're getting five hours worth of battery. So one and a half hours to five hours, that's a major, major, major go. Now, if you're playing music stored to the headphones with the original Icon X, you got four hours. If you store music to these headphones, you're gonna get seven hours worth of battery life. Now you also get four hours worth of talk time. Now the next thing that I well, that I didn't like about the originals was phone calls. If you had the originals on and you got a phone call, you would only hear the person's voice through one side of the headphones. Now that's not the biggest deal in the world, but if you're wearing two headphones, wouldn't you like to hear the voice out of both ears? Well with the new Icon X, you're gonna have that voice in stereo. Now fellas, if you get busted liking some Instagram photos and your girl is calling you to yell at you, then you might wanna go with the original Icon X, but other than that, I'd rather have stereo voice. Now, the last thing that was my major gripe with the originals was syncing music. That's why most of the time I was streaming music because when you wanted to sync music with the original ones, you gotta plug these into your computer and you gotta sync over the music. Now with the new Icon X, you can wirelessly uh, sync music from your phone directly to the Icon X headphones. Now you can only do one song at a time, but still. If you hear that new song when you're on the road and you want to save it right to your headphones, just press the button, no wires necessary. So that's a major upgrade. Now with these, you're also getting quick charge. So when your battery's dead, you put the headphones into the charger, you close them up, plug them in, 10 minutes is gonna give you one hour's worth of play time. So think about it like this. If you forget to charge these and you're on your way to the gym, plug them into your car charger, plug them into your portable battery charger. Even if your gym is 10 minutes away, sit outside in the car for another 10 minutes and that's gonna be your full workout. So that's a major upgrade. Let's see what else you get inside here. Now you're getting some different size uh, air, air tips or air wings. Now check this out. Now this is an this is, um, a OTG, okay, USB-A to OTG. This is what I was thinking about right here. Look at this. Now you're getting USB Type-C for your charging. So now if you got your Galaxy Note car charger, you don't have to bring another cable, USB Type-C as opposed to USB, uh, <laughs> micro USB. Chill out, Zerks. Let's see what else you get in here. All right, this is gonna be, now this is a, okay, so that's cool. You get two OTGs. You get one that's USB uh, Type-C and one micro USB. So if you're old school, new school. And that's pretty much it. All right, so let's check these out real quick. Now you got your two LEDs, here's your button. Oh, look at that pop. Now let me see if, let me see that my originals do that. Did I follow the originals? I like that little pop right there. I don't think my originals did that. I could be wrong. Nope, see the originals didn't pop open. Now if you notice, I'm missing one of the originals. Shout out to your girl Xerxes, I had it on the table and she filed it to the side. The battery was dead and I lost it. Now on the side note, if that happens to you, if your battery's charged up, go to your gear app and you could do the same way I did find my phone with the watch, you could do find my headphones. All right, let's try that again. Bang, I like that. Now let's take a quick look at the uh, actual size difference and see if there's any difference. Okay, so here's the originals and here's the new ones. Basically, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Basically they look about the same size. Shout out to everybody that follows me on the gram. I just came back from the gym. If, if y'all see my hand shaking, I did some biceps this morning. I got my elbow resting on the table. All right, chill. All right, so they're about the same size. Maybe a little bit bigger. Now, the new one's a little bit bigger. You can't really complain because look at that upsize in the battery. Now, let's see. Uh, let's see if I could drop these. The originals in here. Nope, you can't. Let me, let's see. Nope, the originals won't fit into the new charging bud. Uh, new charging cable, cable, new charging dock, charging dock. Here we go, no editing allowed. Left and right, you close these up. Let's see, um, do I got a USB type C cable over here? I just wanna plug these in and see if these light up. Yeah, I got one right here. Here we go, let's plug this in real quick. USB type C, now these start charging right up. 
Now, when I do the full review, I'll do them separately. I'll do a, a, a full review on the Gear Sport, and I'll do a full review on the Icon X. I'll take some pictures rocking these. I like this right here, though. That little flip. Hold on, let me unplug these. Watch that little flip. That's dope. All right. Anyway, I'll do a full review. If y'all got any questions, leave them in the comment section, but y'all know how I do. We're going to get all of the likes, all of the dislikes, top to bottom, and we'll see if these are worth it. But as y'all can see already, the Gear Sport is definitely worth it. If you're looking for a smaller version, it's definitely... Matter of fact, I'll slap it on wrist real quick. Why not? Hold up. All right, so this is how it looks on wrist. Now, I got a big wrist, and it fits perfect. Got a bunch of extra holes. Let's just slap that in there. So many giggity moments in this video. Let's try it again. Check out that watch face. This is a go. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat or gelato. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. Your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock, one to beam up. Primitive Captain, Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>